Thank you, and uh, welcome to News UK, Home of the Sun. Um, I thought I'd start off with a little intro, just explaining who I am and uh, where we are. Um, it was back in the summer of 99, uh, a young me started a summer job at the Sun before going to university. Uh, 19 years later, I'm still considering what university to go to, <laughs> but I'm enjoying my time at the Sun. Uh, I'm Joel, I'm Head of Newsroom Systems at the Sun and have been for the last two years. As you can see, I'm from editorial and not from tech as I wear a tie and I'm still trying to work out the difference between a K8 and a K9. I've seen a few changes over the years and the latest has been the massive, massive digital growth. It was only three years ago the sun was powered by Scenic and behind a paywall. Fast forward to present day and we're number one in the UK and continuing to grow. I like to think I'd have a helping hand in that growth. It was only for making good tea and trying not to antagonise the product team by asking, are we nearly there yet? <laughs> I'm going to start this tale at the birth of the Sun on WordPress. Um, our editors had come from the Daily Mail Online, and at the time it was the Colossus to beat. He wanted us to be able to create, uh, curate a homepage in the same way we put the print edition together. Uh, it had to be visual, easy to use, uh, reactive and be able to take the strain of breaking a news story in the same and, and being updated constantly. The custom wise was born and it allows us to use the home page as a shop window to the world, attracting readers and commercial customers alike. It's completely WYSIWYG, allowing us to mend layouts, headlines, images in the blink of an eye and all on the front end. I don't think tech really knew what they were in for as we update this minute by minute uh, as we are publishing around 600 articles a day on the national site alone. That was two and a half years ago and now we have uh, 31.5 million unique visitors in the UK and I think that makes us the biggest WordPress site in the UK. I'm just waiting for Automatic to, conf to confirm, hopefully, yes. sometime <laughs> soon. Yes, yeah. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Um, the current customizer only allows us to house uh, articles on an index page, which is a little limiting, limiting, and we wanted to experiment with more. With the 2018 World Cup looming, we had the option to create a new destination uh, and a new customized World Cup page, and we jumped at the chance. We wanted to make an index exciting, new, and encourage the reader to come back. With the help of product, UX and D, marketing and commercial, we're able to come up with a plan that would allow us to do a lot more of an index page without too much extra work for editorial, which no one wants. Uh, the only snag was the World Cup has a fixed deadline and there is no way FIFA are corrupt and there's no way we could pay them to move that deadline back. <laughs> the ambition was to cement the Sun brand as a home of football the home of the football fan and make the sun.co.uk a destination for the 2018 World Cup. We set out with a plan to add videos, quizzes, polls, social experiences, uh, a live hero block with live scores, fixtures, along with the usual steady flow of articles, but this would all break into sections of, for example, Camp England, uh, WAGs and Crazy Russians. Unfortunately, the Crazy Russians didn't make the final cut, nor did the psychic bear, <laughs> but we did end up with the rest. The main change in focus in this iteration of the destination page is that we would make it mobile first. After launching on the World Cup, we quickly worked out nearly all our audience reads content on a mobile. It's only us journalists who have the luxury of reading on a desktop. Uh, around 90% of our audience visit our site on a mobile. Ten days before the World Cup kicked off, we launched a brand new destination page, including a new mobile first design, full screen teasers, interactive on-page components, on-page video player, new commercial slots, live in-game stats, new navigation, and site-wide marketing slots. I'm just going to rattle through what we did now. The hero slice. Depending on what was happening when you visited the site, on where, uh, our site on the World Cup page, it delivered the user what they needed to know right here, there, right then, with a hero slice that changed from breaking news, live scores, and fixtures. As they're not always a live match on, we house some of our best performing articles up here. From why is there a dead fish on the pitch during the England versus Croatian game? So why Putin was the only dignitary to stay dry during the World Cup presentation with a lackey holding an umbrella over his head? This is one of our best performing articles in the site, apart, aside from the football. We also bought the rights to serialise a book featuring every living player that scored in the World Cup final and where they are now. 
the images were amazing. This gave the reader a long form read, and it actually made a member of our UX team cry because he said it was the best image we'd ever had on our site. <laughs> Section slices. Uh, bringing a structure of a page by grouping content and creating a pathway for readers to dig deeper into relevant topics. We can swap the topics out at any stage, and luckily, none of us see this coming, England made it most of the way. So Camp England stayed for longer than we all thought. New navigation. Aware of our current index page, do not acquire much traffic load down the scroll, well cut page trail to drop down menu which would jump link users to the content they were after. This was fast to load and as the reader was already a well cut fan as they're on the page, it was easy for them to surface more content. Interactive sliders. Using a solution uh, built by our uh, newsroom dev team, we reimagined this component to create a more engaging way of showcasing top scorers or place to watch. These each link to a topic or tag page where we'd pin the main article to the top for, for example, Harry Kane's profile. But there was a plethora of other related content next to this for the reader to choose from. Quizzes and giveaways. The World Cup destination page was the first time we used our data collection tool for engagement, creating daily quizzes, polls, competitions and social experiences. We actually gave away a TV every day throughout the World Cup but only if you made it to the final of the quiz, and I never made it to the final of that quiz. It was the hardest thing ever. Uh, video. Uh, we had an in-page in video playlist from Brightcove. Uh, this allowed users to watch videos while they were searching through our catalogue to see what video was up next. Problem was, it was really hard to get any World Cup highlights or to do any filming in Russia whatsoever. We did take a lot of content from our sister site, which is Dream Team, uh, from their memes, their vlogs, and all things football and funny. Yes, there was a few hiccups along the way. Uh, we built this page to have revisions, and I don't think tech were fully aware of how many times we revised this page in the tournament. Day four, we had 100 revisions, and the page collapsed. Uh, and at one point, Malaysia versus Fiji was the biggest game on that day. Neither of them are in the World Cup, which is quite worrying. <laughs> but what project doesn't come without snacks? Uh, and all in all, it was a success. The numbers. These are the things that I hope are half impressive. 4,500 articles created, which is around 97 articles a day. Uh, 1,000 videos uploaded to WordPress with 11.5 video view, 11.5 million video views. 11.5 would be rubbish. But, uh, <laughs> and that equates to... 23 million unique users, uh, unique visitors, 48 million views, with an average of 2.05 page views, uh, page views per reader, and a return rate of 45%. I got to the tech summit at the end, and I didn't build a slide, so I'm just going to read it to you. All of this was bought, uh, built and launched in three months on WordPress using Shortcake on the back end and React on the front. The joy of using this was that developers did not need an in-depth knowledge of WordPress. It was quick to deploy and update, and editorial teams were used to using shortcake elements to construct pages. We will continue to work on some of these assets, and hopefully you'll see them across the sun sites soon. Thank you. <laughs>